What is going on guys? Skip here and welcome back to another episode in our Road to Glory series. Today we're back with the second innings of our four day match against Leicester. The Outlaws got off to a decent start yesterday in innings number one. We rolled the Foxes for 192 in the first innings. We picked up a cheeky three for 34. We thought we we're gonna miss the party in the wicket department. The big fella clutched up and got it done. The momentum rolled over into our batting innings. 271 all out. We threw away 100, but made a solid 80 off 107 balls. And that was the difference in the first innings. Leicester trail by 31 runs in the second dig. It's 48 for one. We're going to pick up play in the 16th over. Strap in, ladies and gents. Get yourself a cold one and enjoy it. Can we go 7-0 on the season? It's a career. Robin the bank. We're at the Great Barrier Reef Arena, and I'm going to say it again. It feels so good to be back on YouTube. First ball of innings number two. We're in, and we're getting whip leg side in front of square for a dart. Welch wanting to get on with the job. 29 or 53. We're straight into our work here as he leaves. It's an important spell list. 31 behind. If we can snag a quick pole, we'll be all right as Welch is back and he's watching. Liking the three slips and a gully. Or stump line, off stump line, not letting him drive. And I don't mind if he wants to work it to mid on. Probably got a little carried away in the first dig with the short ball. We went chasing. We got what we wanted as we we're in for the last of our first. Two straight, well worked. Is it going to go to the fence for four? It does. 16 are done. It's 52 for one. And they've got nothing to lose here, Leicester. At home at the Great Barrier Reef, if that makes sense. And Welch has an issue with the RDB. He gets on the front, Todd. He's back for two through cover. We don't mind that. C's having to invent. Take some pace off the ball, we do. About keeping that ball full. Just doing a bit off the seam. Bring the catches into play. That's the shot we're looking for. Solid over yet again. Ball still nibbling around. We're in for the last of it. He's going to let it through to the keeper. 18 are in the book, and it's 56 for one. Red sky at night. Shepherd's delight. Red sky in the morning. Shepherd's warning. We're in for over number three. We go for the toes. A bit of a surprise ball to Evans, but he's good enough to get it down a fine leg. This is the battle. Welchie fires up. Oh, and he French cuts it almost for six. You can see the plan. You can see it working. His head's ticking. We're on a length again, and he's leaving. This is good four-day cricket, ladies and gents. Plenty more to come as he tickles down a fine leg for one. The seven come off our third over. We get another one. We're going to keep the three slips in there. Give ourselves a chance here. Big fella coming off 80 runs. Oh, and getting smacked through backward square for four. Well, Welch, he's asked for it. He's got himself to 45. Welcome to the short ball. He's underneath it, and we go and have a quick word. Gets himself in the contest, the RDB. Last of his fourth, he's down and under again, Welch. 22 done, and it's 72 for one. Shaheen looks at the number two, gives him a nod, and says, hey, he is all yours as we get one to tail late. It's a decent shot. Don't mind getting hit for runs there. It's well fielded. This will probably be the last of our spell. Do we give him the cover drive? No, he does not want a piece of it. We'll go and have a quick sniff of his pits. 224 are done and it's 80 for one. Well, Shaheen's given us the ball again. Second slip is out and short cover is in. Decent plan here. Evans on his tippy toes here. I don't want this ball being schnicked through slip and gully. Oh, it's going to get driven to extra cover. Decent shot that. We've bent our back for the boys. Leicester have been good enough. The short ball is in. Hales picks it up, fields it well. 26 are done, and the lead is six. And well, Welch has got to 50, and I don't think we've ever had a seven-over spell. This is limbs as we get slashed through point for four. Fatigue is hit, boys. Oh, we've just got to give it everything we've got here. The short ball will be in play, and he slashes again for back-to-backs. The spell was had, the partnership continues, and it's 140 for one as we start over number eight. It's none for 27, a little bit left in the tank as we're into Welch and he's leaving. Little cookie crumble might be on the cards. Both batsmen set as we get whipped down to fine leg for one. So what can we try with Evans here? We'll come around the wicket, be inventive, and there's the drive. We're getting what we want out of him here. But the day's play was complete. We've got a full tank, a new mindset, and hopefully nine wickets to take. It'll be an interesting morning session here at the Great Barrier Reef Arena as we go short and we work back with a square. As fine legs seen it, he did late, well fielded, back for two. 
Just change things up a little bit. Bring in a backward point and a leg slip. You're probably going to skip. What are you doing here? But you've got to trust the process as they pinch a single. 48 for one, a decent batting wicket. The pressure and momentum have switched and we get short and find some neck. Well, here we go. When you've got a full tank of petrol and a bloke on 85, you've got to find his eyes and his cheekbones and jaw. Not gonna make three figures easy for him. Last of the ninth. We're in on a length. He looks to launch and he sneaks it down a third for four. Probably should put square leg back, but we'll take the risk. Last of the over gets work through mid wicket as we speak. Welch is gonna get himself into the 90s. It's not gonna go for four. The boys are back for three. 45 are done. Leicester are 159 for one. I get caught up in the emotion of it all. Halfway through the 11th, there's leg slip, baby. Surely Leicester don't make 400. That's hammered. That is hammered through mid-wicket. The boys don't pick it up. I think we're going to have to go to more conventional ring field. Is it back for three? No, they keep it at two. Overdone. You have another quick spell. No wickets taken. Welch on 100. Evans 87. The devil's number in Australia. If it's ever meant to be, it's right now. Given everything in these 11 overs. Ah, oh, that's out. That is out. We've given one more effort. Thank you very much. Wano's not missing that. The in-swing and Yorker finds his shins. And we've got the breakthrough. Well, it was the devil's number. Tommy Scriven, welcome it to the middle. He's got pad rash, and maybe just now, it is on. Full, in line, crushing middle and leg stump. We don't need to go to DRS or anything for that. That is the definition of a dismissal. What have we got here? A second wicket, maybe, as Scrivens is forward. We've got the boys up and about. The in-swinger is nice. Oh, we've found the cranium early. The 10 dot ball's now for Scriven. And he works it through mid-wicket. Disgusting, disgusting. We have a quick spell, change of Vens, and the century maker is out. Here comes the rot. 216 for three. We're in the money first ball as we're driven back down the onside. It's a good shot. It's not going to go all the way. Scriven and Patel, what have you got, boys? You're thinking, do we need another catcher in? No, that is a good shot. It's better than the first, and surely that's going all the way for four? Maybe not. Maybe it does. Oh, all of his ten runs have come off us. Short ball. Oh, he's elbowing it into the deck. You idiot. These two establish themselves. We take point out, bring him into a second slip and bowl a middle and leg stump line. Much better over this. Patel getting forward in for the last of the 16th. He's back and watching. The over's done and it's 227 for three. The only issue we have with coming around the wicket is that he can use the offside. We go short. Oh, he's underneath. That's fast. The last of another good over. Two off it in swinging Yorker. Oh, he gets forward and defends. Over number 18, lead of 161. That's hammered through mid-wicket. Why have I not put a fielder there? I've literally just given him easy runs. He doesn't find the boundary, and they're back for three. No, just can't allow batsmen to lean forward and take those. So we're going to drop a short. He takes it on. He gets the top edge, and that's going to go into the crowd for six. Four. I don't know if I'm blind or Malto's blind, but that certainly looked like it went over the Toblerone. We go short again. He's underneath. A quick spell is had, and the big fella needs to get back in to the attack. Patel 37, Mulder 11. And the first ball gets on driven for a dot. A bit of a ballsy move here. I've taken out Gully, put him in at short mid wicket. That's well bowled. Really well bowled. Almost like a training drill for Patel at the moment. We make him play every ball as he whips it off his toes. He's going to get a single to fine leg. Little directed line. Last of the 20th to Mulder. Oh, he looks to whip as he got all of it. Absolutely not. That is a one-handed hanger. And thank you very much. We've got the X Factor out. Robin's got the breakthrough and the boys are fired up. Yep, well, I don't really know what happened. He's just missed time to hit the splice of the bat. That is a one-handed hanger from Mr. Petman. See you later, Vian Mulder. Out for 15, 5 for 289. Overdone. Harry Swindles, welcome to the middle. And can we close this innings up? We don't want to be chasing 350 on a day four in Leicester. I give you the red hot tip as we're on the money. We might be called in to chase the last few runs as well. 
That's well bowled, even better played, and you might need to put a sweeper out there. 300 is up for Leicester, two for 69, feeling fine as we go short. Well, I apologize, it's not the 300, but we've still got the two for 69. As we go short and we find his cranium, have some of that, brother. 22.2 bold, shout out to Richie, hope you're doing well, brother, as we get a little shorter. Just making this bloke think. He does, and he works it into the vacant point region. Is he back for two? We don't mind that. Missed our line. Oh, now the leading edge. That breaks you. That breaks you. I mean, it happens, but right now, we don't need it as he schnicks it to first slip. We have a spell, and we're simmed all the way through. Oh, boy, the chase is on. Are we going to get there? We're not. And Robin walks out. 1350s, 400s. Let's just have a look at the scoreboard, ladies and gents. Leicester all out, 337. We picked up two. And here we have it. 38 overs have been bowled. 125 for six. We trail by 133 runs. And we are going to need every single ounce of energy, good luck, and positive attitude. Rayan Ahmed rolls in for ball number one as we drive him to extra cover for no run. Well, I don't know what we can do with this field. As Ahmed's in and we whip her down a fine leg. How have we not hit that onto our leg stump? I probably moved a little too far. Can we get back for three, Lyndon? No, he's too slow. Well, this is going to be one of the better chases. If we can just find some momentum, we drive. That's a dot ball. Just don't know what to do with this field. How about we go over the top and not mess around in the fourth innings? That is a risk and a risk worth taking. Four runs to the RDB, 40 are done, and it's 135 for six. We've got to treat this as a one-day game. There's a short mid-on that's gone in. We work it straight to him. We've got a lot better to spin as this game goes on. He gives us another one, and that's outside off stump. We pump that over point. Does it go for six? It doesn't. You can see what a couple of big shots does. Field goes out. Ahmed wide, and we drive, and we say no run to point. We talk about height and senses. We've got a deep backwards square now. He bowls the wrong and inside edge. We go back. They ask the question. Shut your mouths. 42 are done, and it's 141 for six. Rayan off. A couple of boundaries, and see you later, young fella. Barnes is in. We pump him down the ground. We're going to get the man on the ring. Do we get through? We do. The day completes, or is that the session? I don't know. The Leicester weather, you just never know what time it is. We've lost a wicket, and now we're batting with the tail as we slash first ball to Carly. Gully, cover, same, same, but different. It's a 7-2 field wide of the stump short ball, and we get a taste of our own medicine. 11 off 15. 7-2 becomes a 6-3, and we find the gap at third, man. We are going to need these balls to go to the boundary, but we'll pick up two in the meantime. Not a bad over from Scriven. None for six. We get on the back foot and punch him beautifully through cover. That is shot of the episode, shot of the year, and 150 up. Well, I've just realized we've lost another wicket, 152 for eight. We need 100 odd, and our season is not going to be a clean sweep. Well, we are going to tee off. And we've got none of that. Does it fall safely? It does. Well, I don't know what the Foxes are doing here. They're keeping the field up, attacking the game as we get forward. Smack this to cover and we'll take the single. Shaheen's got six valuable runs. Van Mulder into the attack. He goes short and we should have smacked that. Then short, full, short, full. Does he go short here? He doesn't. We whip him off the legs. Do we find the gap at backwards square? We do. That brings us to the last of the over. Does he go bumpy? No. We get through. We take the single. Shaheen runs and Shaheen's home. Scrivens wide. No, we'll show the hands and Gully's taking it. He's resilient, old Shaheen. And we're going to slut happened again. They dive so late. And well, would you read about it, ladies and gents? The two wickets have been taken. The RDB gets man of the match. And we are all out for 172. 
We've just been done reverse outright. 192, we knocked Leicester over four. We reply with 271. Now, mind you, we've taken three for 34 and made 80 in the first innings. I'm sorry, but what more can we do? Leicester go bang, bang with the bat. 96.4 overs, 337 to give us a fair income chase, and that we cannot do. We choke up 51 overs. We bat 170. Two, we make 27 not out of 36 balls. That single to Gully, I knew it just wasn't happening. And then the tail get mopped up and Leicester win by 86 runs. Well, you can be disappointed for a little bit after the game, but it's in the greater context of it. We still sit top of the ladder in the four-day competition. The standings we see here is the one-day stuff. We're three games in, two wins, one loss, but hopefully some positive cricket is continuing and will be just around the corner for you. 83 rated overall. The form is meh, but it's all good because the big fella's got a taste of red ink and he's ready to turn it on. Ladies and gents, we're going to leave it there for today's episode. It was another a cracker. That was a fair income four-day game and I enjoyed every second of it. If you did as well, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a cheeky comment down below. Make sure you swing over and catch us in one of our live streams as well. But until next time, look after yourselves and those around you. Catch us in the next one.